Yeah, hi all. Uh, today I'm gonna demo a me fair 1k attack on the on, on the encrypted card. So uh, let me start because this is uh for a client of mine. So I might as well share it on YouTube. So I'm gonna do a very fast demo so you guys can practice from home. So let me let me do a tune first. Okay, so the, you can see the HF is good for you. So now we search text. Okay, you can see the UID over here. So this is the original UID of the detect on the clone. So first thing first, we got to check the, the which block is encrypted uh, within the original text. So using the check command, we are able to see which of the blocks are encrypted. So you can see that 7, 11, 15, 19, 23, and 27, and 31 is encrypted. And the rest are using the default keys, either with the 12F or the 12 0. So um, we're going to use the nested attack. So what does the nested attack do is uh, it uses a default key inside the tag to, to attack the card to, to make sure all the encrypted blocks will be shown. So let me do the nested attack now. So the one stands for a 1k card, block 31, key A, with the 12th valid, the 12th F, the valid key. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. D is for the dump. So as you can see, the dump is over here. So you can see that the encrypted block is the the sectors are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, which is corresponding to the the block seven, eleven, nine, fifteen, nineteen, twenty three, twenty seven, and thirty one. So the next thing we're gonna do is dump the files. So you're gonna save the file, uh, maybe as a demo. So now you get an EML file. Okay. So so I'm gonna remove the original tag and place the the a new UID magic tag. So I'm gonna prove to you that the UID is different. So um, simply you load it up with a C load command with a word demo behind. So you see file reading error, but don't worry about it. Uh, it should be good. So now you see the UIDs have changed for the UID magic tag to the same as the original tag. Okay, let me remove the the clone tag and the place the original tag now. You can see the the UID is the same. So it shows that the the tag has been successfully cloned. So just in case you just want to double check the block inside also. So I will do the next step. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, twelve. Okay. So I'm going to dump the file now. So as you can see, the data are the same as before. So now you, you have successfully cloned the, the magic tag. So yeah, this is all. Uh, this is the Gen 1 magic tag. So you can change the UID as correspond also using the C set UID which I can show you also. Uh, one, one, two, three, three, four, four, four. So so basically this is it. Uh, but you can change it back to the the same as the original tag. So which is our uh, seven C Five three, three, and seven five.
Uh, you always get the error, but don't worry about it. Okay, it will change corresponding. Yeah, so take a look at this. So now, uh, the video is done. Uh, I will show a, a live demo from from my own apartment in China later. Uh, yeah. So this is all. Hope you enjoy the video.